Well, I don't know if it's going to rain, if it's going to clear up, if it's going to storm. It's one of them days where you just, it, it, it could do all three. And it looks like it's going to clear up over here, but it looks like it's going to storm over here. And it looks like it's headed that way. So I don't know, but I'm hoping that it clears up because I'd like to go try to catch some strippers this, this, uh, this evening or, or later today. Uh, that's kind of what I'm wanting to do. Cause you know, I'm going to be fishing quite a bit in the next couple of months. Why is that? Turkey season's over. As sad as it is, turkey season has come to an end. But we're going to be talking about how the turkey season went and why some of you had such a tough season. Was it a bad season? Was it an off season? We're going to answer that question in just a little bit. Well, if I've heard it once, I've heard it a hundred times, whether it's by email, Facebook, YouTube, on the street, meeting people, uh, it's, they're all saying the same thing, that 2020 was one of the toughest turkey seasons that they can remember in a long time. I'm talking about guys that kill six, seven, eight, nine, ten a year that travel and hunt like I do. Uh, the, the, they're all saying the same thing. This was a tough, tough year. Uh, it's been really tough. And I think for 80% of the people I've talked to, um, they said this was one of the worst seasons they've ever had. Uh, and you know, you, you got a few guys that had the best season they ever had, depending on where they're at and the, and the place they were hunting. But for most people, it was tough. And uh, why is that? It, was it an off season? Was it a bad season? Is there any such thing as a bad season or an off season or the turkeys ain't doing right? Well, you know, that's a good excuse for people that's not successful, that people that's had a hard time. That's a really good excuse for those that say, well, you know, I just didn't limit out or I didn't even kill a turkey this year. And that's why it just, they wasn't doing right. Well, the, the truth of it is there's never such a thing uh, don't even exist as a bad season or an off season. Turkeys don't have an off season. If that was the case and they had an off season and the turkeys was doing something that wasn't normal, uh, such as breeding as much or, or, or doing their spring ritual and their thing, we'd have no turkeys in the future to hunt <laughs> because they wouldn't, they, wouldn't do the, you know, they wouldn't do their thing. But we know that's not the case because every year it's the same thing. Every year turkeys do the same exact thing despite the weather, despite the region, despite the pressure. They're out there strutting, they're out there gobbling, they're out there breeding, they're out there doing something uh, in the spring and the same thing happens every single year. So there is no, there is no off season. The reason people want to believe that is because the goblin wasn't as good. They say, well, the goblin wasn't as good, so it's an off year. They just ain't acting right. The weather's got them shut up. And that's just not true uh, because they're out there somewhere and they're they're doing their spring ritual okay but when when you find these years and, and it's happened all across the country i'm talking about you know places all across the country it's the same thing well they ain't gobbling and so when turkeys don't gobble they are harder to kill let's just face it i mean it, it, it is we all know that when turkeys are not gobbling they're a lot tougher to hunt and we all like to hear them gobble because it helps us know that they're there and it helps us to you know make a move on them but when they shut up and they're not and they're not doing what we want them to do then it gets really tough so that's where you separate the men from the boys that's where you separate the true killers from just the guy that you know that, that just does the same thing he watches on television and he thinks that's going to work and and it don't work <laughs> and so what do you do well you got to take a, a quote bad season Season, which don't exist you got to take a bad season and you got to turn it into a good season you got to turn it into a successful season and that's up to you that's not up to your neighbor that's not up to the TV personality that's not up to even me or some guy you watch on YouTube that's up to you to make the best of a, of a, of a, of a bad situation I think when we look back at 2020, I think we can just sum the whole season up from north south east and west all across the country with one word pressure 
pressure. That's what really caused this season to be so tough. Uh, and I think a, most of it probably has to do with what we're dealing with in America. You know, whether you believe in all of the stuff or not, you know, I've got my opinions about all this virus stuff, and you probably don't want to hear it uh, because it probably makes some of you mad. <laughs> but uh, whatever your feelings about it, uh, just so many people, more uh, more people were locked in. They were they, they were around the house. It wasn't working, and so therefore they had more time, and they were out there hunting. Now, and, and so the more hunters you got, the more pressure you got. Now that's all right. You know, I th I've heard a lot of complaining this year from guys about more pressure. Well, we've just got more turkey hunters. We got, and I think it's almost like it goes back to the way turkey hunting was many years ago in the in the 70s and, and even in the 80s sometimes, and especially the 60s. You know, the old guys didn't want to really teach uh, their secrets about turkey hunting. It was almost like mushroom hunt. You know, and that even happens today. You know, you got a guy 30 miles down the road that don't even live around you, and you you don't even want to share your secrets about where you find him a real mushroom. You know, even though he's not going to be nowhere around where you're mushroom hunting at, or see, you just don't want to let him know where you're, how to find mushrooms. That's stupid. You know, we need to share this knowledge. We need to pass it on uh, for future generations. But I think a lot of us get selfish. You know, let's let's face it. You do too. You watching this, and you get selfish, and so sometimes we just get aggravated when uh, there's more pressure because we're like, well, you know, there's just more people out there, and they don't. And so a lot of these guys don't know what they're doing. They're spooking turkeys. They're blowing them off the roost, and they're you know they're walking through open fields, and there's and so the turkeys shut up, uh, and that just happens. But we want more turkey hunters out there. We want you to enjoy the sport that we've all enjoyed for years and years. But here's, here's what you got to do. Uh, you got to learn how to deal hunting with pressure turkeys. Now, everywhere I hunted this year, private land and public land, either one, every place I hunted, I heard turkey calling from another hunter somewhere across the property line. Uh, or, you know, somewhere around me, I heard turkey calling. What does that mean? Well, that means somebody's over there. That means somebody's out hooting over there. It means somebody's over there doing something that's probably spooking turkeys uh, around me. <laughs> and, and it happened everywhere I went. I never hunted a place this year that I didn't hear or see four-wheelers or hear four-wheelers or see a truck. It's just pressure. Well, you know, I still managed to kill some turkeys because, I, like I've said before, and you've heard me say it, turkeys don't have to gobble for me to be able to kill them. I know there is no off season. There is no bad season. There is no season where they're doing something, you know, totally uh, not normal. They're being turkeys. So if they're being turkeys, I've got to figure out how to kill turkeys. That's the, that's the, that's the game that we play. And on years like this, you're going to lose more than you're going to win. But that's all right, because it's years like this that separates the men from the boys. It's it's years like this that separates the the uh, the killers from the guys that just want to walk around in the woods with a shotgun and call a few times and go back to the house. But you got to figure out how to be successful. But you cannot get in this mental block to where it's well, it's just an off season. It's just a bad season. There is no off season and there is no bad season. Get that out of your head. Turkeys are doing what turkeys normally do. It's just they didn't gobble. Because they don't gobble, you've got to figure out how to uh, hunt them even a better way. Now, you've heard me say this before, and I still think it's true. A good fall hunter will be a great spring hunter. If you fall turkey hunt and you know how to fall turkey hunt and you're successful, at it year after year it doesn't matter years like this that's quote an off season where their turkeys just ain't gone it ain't gonna matter you're still gonna be able to kill them because you already are way ahead of the game knowing how to hunt turkeys that ain't goblin so i would just say if you want to uh, become a better turkey hunter and when you have to face another season like this because you, you you're going to face another season like this it may not be next year it may not be the year after that it may be down the road somewhere but you're going to have another season where they're just going to be crazy and not gobble like 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 they have this year but if you will learn to fall turkey hunt and be successful at it then your your confidence will go way up and you don't have to worry about it because you already know how to kill turkeys when they ain't goblin so i would challenge everybody to, to at least take a week or two uh this fall and go fall turkey hunt and try to learn a little bit more about fall turkey hunting because it will make you a better spring hunter in 2021 improve on your calling uh look 
look at some of the videos here on YouTube of real hens that's yelping and clucking and cutting and all the hen sounds from a real genuine hen out there doing it. That's going to help you improve on how to become a better turkey caller. Don't, don't pay so much attention to your favorite TV personality or, or, or whoever uh, and you know learn from them but you're going to learn from the real McCoy more th than anything. Listen to real hens, put your mouth call in, get your box call, slate call, whatever you use and just try to mimic what you hear in the off season like this and by 2021 it's going to make you a better caller and on these years where turkeys are highly pressured and they're just not gobbling great you're going to uh, become a, a better um, caller in calling them turkeys that may just not be very vocal it will help you you may have to get some new properties. You ever think about that? Maybe the property you're hunting this year just wasn't very good, or maybe it hasn't been very good in the last few years, and uh, maybe you just heard one or two turkeys you've had to deal with, and that's it. Well, listen, if, if you're hunting a property that's only got one or two turkeys that's gobbled the whole season on it, it's probably time for you to move on down the road somewhere, even if it's on some public land, or just start maybe taking a chance and knocking on doors and trying to find a place uh, uh, to expand your, uh, your hunting ground a little bit more because there's no point in staying on the same place where there's just a handful of turkeys because that's going to make your season a lot tougher especially when they're pressured like this and especially when they're not gobbling so expand your horizon expand your ground and that's going to help you also you can do that right now in the off season a lot of times people let you turkey hunt that won't let you deer hunt in fact a couple of places i've got some of my prime turkey spots that i've hunt every year they wouldn't let me deer hunt for nothing you know uh, don't even ask them it ain't gonna happen but they'll let me turkey hunt every year so that's something you might want to remember go up and be nice and courteous to people ask them if you can turkey hunt and uh, that might just open the doors for you to expand your ground and by next year you might find that that's the one ground that the turkeys are gobbling uh, where they're not gobbling where you previously hunted so that's something to keep in your mind too you update your equipment if you've been missing gobblers or maybe you're just not confident shooting out there at 45 50 yards or whatever the case uh, update it take this time in this year to uh, update your equipment maybe test out some new choke tubes or some new loads because that's going to make a big difference too uh, there's just a, a lot of these things I'm telling you is just ways to get better and improve on making a tough year a good year so there is no bad year there is no off year get that out of your head and don't ever say that again, but there is tough years. And we've had a very tough year in most places around the country. I know some guys have had the best season of their life, and that's great. But for the most part, what I've heard, it's all the same. Toughest year that I've seen in a long time. But improve your skills, improve yourself, and become better, and become a better woodsman, become a better student of the game, become a better student of, of the surroundings and the turkeys themselves. Learn more about turkeys. Learn Learn more about their behavior and you'll begin to take these tough years like this and still be able to be successful and man when you can win the game uh, you know like I have this year sometimes it really really makes you feel confident that you can go anywhere in the United States and kill a turkey in every state because you know how to hunt them when they ain't gobbling and when it's been tough and when most people has went home with 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 all their tags or maybe not filled all their tags you went home with all your tags filled why is that because you took a tough season not an off season not a bad season but you made the best out of it and by next year you can do the same thing i promise you well, this is going to wrap it up for the 2020 Turkey Series, and I hope that all of you have enjoyed them. I've enjoyed bringing them to you. Uh, I think they've been probably the, the best that we've ever produced, and uh, so far I've got just so many great compliments. So many, uh, and I get them every year, but so many this year have said, hey, man, I've killed my first turkey finally, or I've tagged out for the first time in my life, and th your videos have helped me so much. And, you know, when I hear testimonials like that, it just makes me smile because that's why I do them. That's why I've been doing them all these years, and I hopefully continue to do them because we're passing on the knowledge and that's the theme of our channel passing the knowledge to you uh, so uh, appreciate all of you and uh, stay tuned we'll have more videos down the road we're going to be doing some fishing this summer and then deer season's right, right around the corner so we'll be doing some you know bow hunting and rifle hunting and muzzleloader hunting and all that and maybe some squirrel hunting and, and dove hunting so stay tuned because there'll be some more down the road but this will wrap it up for the turkeys uh, and I again just thank you for subscribing 
If you haven't subscribed, take a moment and subscribe, please, and join us here. Uh, and also check out my Facebook page and the SpringFeverCustomCalls.com page where you pick up my box calls. And very soon, hopefully, we'll be having some Matt Dell Signature Series mouth calls and some other calls in the Old Sly Series line, so you stay tuned for that. And then also uh, check out the Spring Fever Custom Call YouTube page. Uh, I just appreciate all of you, and just you can find all of them links in the description. But this, uh, but I'm going to get out here and hopefully catch some fish this evening if it don't rain. See y'all in the next video.